Well, you know, anytime you, you, you go out there for the first day of spring practice, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty live. A lot of energy coaches, you know, everybody's just uh, have been wanting to get out on that field and, uh, you know, you kind of come loose. Uh, they've been in there lifting and conditioning and, and now we get to go out and of each and every day. And today we went out there and it, it, it was clearly a championship mindset from us all. Um, and they really attacked it. And I was very pleased. Good seeing you, coach. I appreciate you and your staff. Yeah. Too. For us, um, what's if I ask you at the end of spring practice, um, the one goal you wanted to accomplish, what would it be? Uh, look, one thing you're looking to take away from the next few weeks? Well, you know, uh, that that's an interesting question because um, we, we have a lot of good leadership, we have a, a lot of uh seniors that are actually coming back for their sixth year. Um, you know, uh, improving on our leadership, it, it's going to be really interesting to see because. So many people stand behind those seniors and they wait their turn to be that leadership group. We're going to have a six-year group that are great leaders, and then we're going to have actually, uh, quote-unquote, real seniors again, that are coming up next year that are, that are stepping into that role and that leadership. And we're, we're seeing an abundance of that. I mean, there, there was more leadership out there today than I think I've ever seen. There was more competition. Um, the, the practice flowed is about as – smoothly as it could have been but uh you know improvement in all areas is something we stress and something we have to go out there and, and obtain each and every day but uh, it's going to be interesting to see all these young leaders step up and develop with all these older guys that are still here do you have any, uh, any idea the numbers of guys you could have left the program or in guys that in that return for that sixth year i god I, I think we have four leave uh so i think we have nine returning um uh, so that's, that's a good number. Everybody wants to always talk about quarterback. How's he looking? This first day, you know, quarterbacks are quarterbacks. They like to go out there and throw the ball around a little bit. But, no, it was, uh, it was interesting because I thought all three of our quarterbacks went out there and did really well. Quad leading the group off. And then um, McKaylee Colasurdo. And, and then our transfer, Granger, that steps in. Darren Granger, the transfer from Furman. Uh, really stepped in and did a nice job. I think all three of those guys have uh, a really unique game uh, within themselves, and I think they bring something different, uh, you know, every time they take the field. So that's going to be a great group to watch. Uh, but I, I, I think the one that I'm really anticipating is watching the wide receivers and our defensive backs go up against one another. We have a, a great uh, room of wide receivers, a great depth uh, with a lot of guys that need to play and that want to play and can't contribute. So uh, I'm really anxious to see those guys develop and who can come out of that group and be in that uh, front four, so to speak. With, uh, with what you guys were able to do last year and how many guys you bring back, do you allow yourself to, to, you know, kind of creep up the goals? I don't know if you're a big write the goals on the whiteboard kind of guy, but do you allow it yourself and this team to broaden the horizons for next year? You know, honestly, I, you know, all coaches are different. Everybody says, you know, you, you have to be goal oriented. And I am to some degree, but um, I don't write them up there. But I did address our team, our first team meeting after we came back from the bowl game. And, and I told them, I said, here's the interesting thing I want you to understand. We all know what we have here. It's time to start talking about winning that championship. We are going to be able to go and compete for that championship. There's not unknowns out there. There's not a team in our league we don't feel that we can go and compete with and have an opportunity to beat. Uh, so, yes, we. I told them today, I said, we're going to go out here and we're going to practice. It's going to be day one. As long as we all go out here to obtain a championship, to practice like a champion and compete with the Sun Belt title, I said, we'll have a chance to win. It. Uh, so, yeah, I, I guess you could say our goals have changed a little bit. Everybody would like to say the Sun Belt championship is the goal each and every year. But I truly feel like we are ready to go uh, compete for it right, right there and right now. So we are uh, like three days shy of the one year anniversary of kind of when COVID hit the sports world. It was the 12th yeah. last year with all the NBA, the NBA guy tested positive. Um, what were you guys doing back then? And what did you think things would look like in a year? You know, back, back March, you know, March of 2020. And, and how do you reflect on have been doing this for a year? 
I can remember the last team meeting and I told them we were going to have to cancel spring and then we're actually not cancel spring, but we're going to take a week off. They were going to go on spring break. And then I'd already set a date. We're going to come back and we're going to start practice. And I, I really thought that was going to happen. Uh, it's amazing to think that here we are a year later that we actually did play our season, uh, that we handled it what I think pretty well and, and with all the distractions. Um, but the, the fact that it's still around is still baffling to me. Uh, and, and we're still having to wear masks at practice. We're still having to test our players. But uh, somebody asked me the other day about it. Uh, is it back to normal? You know, normal is what you make of it. So, yeah, we're normal. You know, we, we're, we're living with it. We, uh, we just go out there and advance with it. So uh, we're living our normal life now.